Okay, there we are. All right. So with part two, so I'm on this second part, we'll look at <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we have World Drug Day. Then we have hashtag Victor Wanyama, <laughs> Wavinia Challenge, Picture of the Day, and Hide Phobia. Yeah. All right. Two of these trends were happened during the weekend. That's Victor Wanyama and Wavinia Challenge, but we were not able to look at them. So I thought this is the best day to look at what's exactly happening. Let's start with the World Drug Day. So June twenty sixth uh, marks the World Drug Day, and this. Um, this day, basically, the theme is to listen fast. Mm -hmm. What they're advising is that first listen to your children, to your friends, because most people turn to drugs after they've tried talking to people and they're and not able to yeah, get solution. They're not being heard. They're not being heard and they decide to look at something. They could be struggling. So here we have Leah who says, Today Kenya joins the world in commemorating the International Day Against Drug Abuse. Nakada mm. Kenya, World Drug Day Kenya. Mm. First of all, a bit of statistics. 190,000 people die every year due to drug abuse and mm. of course illicit drug and trafficking as well. And then United Nations here says illicit drugs can weaken families, listen fast to your children to create strong bonds. World Drug Day Global Goals. Listen fast. Listen I totally fast. agree with this. Yeah. Remember, drugs is also related with terrorism. First of all, a correlation, a research done this year by UN shows that there's a correlation between drug abuse and terrorism mm. because most drug, um, most terrorists get their money funded from, they get money from uh, trafficking drugs mm. or rather from the sale of drugs. And General Mike uh, Michel here says drug victims account more than war victims with destructive impacts on the society. Together we can overcome drug abuse. Yeah, interesting. So something very important to think about on this World Day as also we celebrate it. Hi, I'm moving okay. on to the next one. So Victor Wanyama was trending over the weekend. Reason being, uh, they put a street sign. Tanzania put a street sign Imagine in, that. in Dar es Salaam uh, with his name. Victor Imagine Wanyama. That. Exactly. This is Tanzania. So so, it says, so Victor Wanyama has a street named after him in Tanzania and Kenya can only pay him 750 a day. Let's look at the picture. And wow. there is the street <laughs> and that is the municipality of Ubongo. Uh -huh. That's what they call it. And there is a street sign. Remember he was celebrating his 26th birthday on, mm. sa on, on Sunday. So that was this happened during the eve of his <laughs> birthday. But unfortunately... This is what happened 24 hours after the street sign was put up, a day after municipality of Ubongo has ordered Victor Wanyama Street removed, saying laid down and legal procedures were not followed. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> Just so when you were there celebrating. that counts. <laughs> exactly. But I also think we made so much noise, yeah? <laughs> we made so much noise. He was we so made close. Them, <laughs> we made them realize that yeah. there was something wrong. Yeah, we, we made have them hushed. so much. Yeah, we made so much noise. We, we should have, have just hushed. Maybe probably today they have been so popular. <laughs> <Interesting>. You know? <laughs> Hi, let's move mm -hmm. on to Wavinia Challenge. Wow. So, <laughs> so <laughs> last week, Wavinia said something like, Ya Leon duele si fite. And what do Kenyans do? <laughs> I don't know what that Ngoja, means. Ngoja fea, ya rungai imepanda. <laughs> so, Wavinia Challenge. So, people are taking Swahili, uh, what do you call them? Like methalis. Exactly, methalis, and of course, distorting them. Aleju <laughs> and Akulama. <laughs> and Akulama I can So Kenya, of course, are making fun of this, yeah. and it's been hilarious. If yeah. you go to Twitter, you go to Facebook, everyone's social media, everyone is just making fun of the mistake that she made while addressing the press recently. <laughs> uh, let's look at also other Wavinya uh -huh. challenge. Kenya, um, Kenyans have a special place. <laughs> In, wow, in hell with Wi-Fi and extension cables. <laughs> wow. I'm finished. It's actually true. Kenyans, Kenyans are savage. They are so savage. Mm. I don't understand how we made fun uh, um, out of this and of course saying we didn't <laughs> do that. So, ya mengi ni kuku, ya mayai ni mungu. Chamkufu, mwanafu, ni demakufu na isitoshe, asante ya mateke ni punda. Now let's that find last one is the one. Asante, I'm not taking it. Put it the Demakufu one killed it totally. So let's go to the final picture <sighs> of the day. So let me introduce you to this lady by the name Alicia Montano. Yeah. She participated in a 
in a championship and she was five months pregnant. That and is cool. Exactly. She even has a flower. And just the to flower, top what it does all that flower up. what she says that flower mm. is a, her symbol. It represents strength with femininity. Remember she also was participating in the eight hundred meters. She's a seven time USA champion as well. Interesting. Wow. Th that's yes. those are goals. Those are major goals. All right. Thank you. Thank that's you very much, Julian, for that. And thank you for watching at home. We have had uh, two hours. I hope you're informed. Thank you very much for watching. Keep it KTN News. We continue to give you updates on our shows here 24 hours a day, you know. My name is Betty Kahlo. Have a lovely, lovely holiday. Eid Mubarak. And uh, God bless you. Bye. My name is Julian Kamau. Have a happy <laughs> holiday.